Oh my god. We're watching Westworld, but if you haven't finished the episode, please pause right now and then come back. There are spoilers ahead. Pause it and come back. Hey guys, welcome to Nerding Out, the show where us GameSpot nerds get together with you to talk about the things that we like. And today we're talking about Westworld's season finale, which if you didn't watch, please watch it and then come tune in. We told you there were spoilers ahead, and there are. All right, guys, this season was crazy. And I want you guys to sum up the season in one sentence without using the words Westworld, robot, or host and you can't say any character names. Okay. So, uh, okay. you guys ready? Uh, I think so. We're not doing it together. We're no, one, one at, a at a time. One at a time. Go ahead, buddy. Uh, Summarize the season. Two scientists attempt to create artificial cognition by using Cyborgs. <laughs> He's really skirting around the in a, a <laughs> an amusement park setting as a big social experiment. This is a run-on sentence. There you go. I'm gonna go a little bit more succinct with mine. Yeah. Um. <laughs> go ahead. A madman's work of art lives on forever. Interesting. That was beautiful. That was beautiful. It was much more... <laughs> said Zippo about the friggin' episode, <laughs> though. But it's this It was about the season. It's about the season. No, no, that was beautiful, man. It's about the season. That, that was actually really... All right, you're not getting out of this one. No, I'm not. <laughs> um, what makes humanity any different from artificial intelligence? Oh, come on, you guys. <laughs> you went really specific. You're with it. We both were so uh, artistic, and I'm like friggin'. I'm thinking two, in box two quotes. Scientists I'm thinking in box are, quotes, uh, man. Uh, fine. I'm, that's, I'm thinking in box quotes. So, this, this episode in particular was called The Bicameral Mind. So, we have another game right now. <laughs> oh, great. More games. Yes. More games. Last I game. love these Last games. Game. So, this game, we're going to guess what bicameral mind means. So, can I? Uh, we the can rules. go backwards. We can go backwards this time. Yeah, I'm going to explain though okay. what, because I realized that we didn't look up. No. None of us looked up what bicameral mind means, which is normally what we do when we're researching doing the script of an episode, yeah. mm -hmm. because sometimes it's all we have. Right. This time I looked. We looked up after we watched the episode. Anybody go, like anybody know what bicameral mind means? Yeah. Things no. we should have looked up before. <laughs> Things we, we should have looked up. So we we're just hyped for the finale. You're taking it first. Sure. Uh, well, bias two cameral, kind of like a view. So the, your mind is viewing two things at once, and I'm thinking it's because of Dolores? I don't know. I like that, that. That's it. Go ahead. <laughs> yeah, I like that. Obviously, two. Yeah. Right. Maybe two portions of your mind. Mm -hmm. I think one has to do with listening to a voice, and the other has to do with uh, an action. Mm. So one part of your brain or consciousness tells the other part what to do. All right, buddy. Can, I want to combine both of their answers. <laughs> That's the cheating. Come on. That's fine. Go ahead. Two. The cam vision, mm -hmm. the auditory portion, mm -hmm. right? Yes. By camera. I work with cameras. Sure. Two cameras. All right. so two let's, two I have, hemispheres. I have the answer right here. Talking amongst each other. So, by cameralism, the philosophy of two chamberedness. So, is a hypothesis in psychology that argues that the human mind once assumed a state in which cognitive functions were divided between one part of the brain, which appears to be speaking, and a second part which listens and obeys, a bicameral mind. It was a combination uh, of their answers. Definitely, yeah. Yeah, no. Good job, guys. We're, we're so good at this. Yeah. We're so good at this. All right, so let's... <laughs> I had no idea what was going I don't on. Know. Yeah. <laughs> let's talk about all the theories that we had leading up to this finale and whether they were true or not. All right, theory number one. William is the man in black. Yeah. 
And don't call me Billy. Confirmed. Confirmed, everyone. Yep. Yes. Let's talk about this. So it was pretty obvious. I was waiting for like that obvious reveal where it's just like, oh, they're the same person. But yeah, they, she's talking to, Dolores is talking to the man in black and he's like, oh yeah, I knew William. And he gives the whole backstory and then William picks up a black hat and then they show the merge from old William to new William. So The it's, knife, the gun, is. all yeah. that stuff. Mm-hmm. Uh, by the time that Dolores is, you know, What's her name? Evan Rachel? Evan, Evan Rachel? Rachel Wood. Yeah. yeah. By the time her twitchy face happens, she, no! you're like, oh, come on. We, we already this. knew. Yeah, we, we already, knew. We thought we they would reveal it earlier in the For episode. Yes. Yeah. yeah. We knew yeah. this. Well, All right. Theory number two. Arnold still alive. Arnold. He's dead. Yeah, well, he's a pretty fucking prolific coder for a dead guy. Really, kind of. I don't think so. Bernard says that he's been fighting Ford. He's mm-hmm. still fighting Ford, yeah. but we don't have any concrete proof that Arnold's consciousness has been uploaded into anyone or anything like that. I feel like a couple of times in this episode, this time included, mm-hmm. they gave all the theorists their little moment in the sun and then yeah. took yeah. it away from yeah. them. Yeah. <laughs> they did. You thought you were right. Like, nope. So Arnold's been fighting you. Yeah, he has. Yep. He's, he's, he's dead. still around. Yeah, he's dead. Oh, yeah. rip in peace. All right, theory number three. Ford's new narrative is the maze. Come find me. So, kind of, yeah, pretty much. So we thought that, well, Ryan, you haven't explained it. Yeah, we thought that the the maze was eventually going to try to trap the hosts. Mm -hmm. Um, But yeah, he he had this whole thing planned out. And we kind of thought this before, that he, that... Even them awakening uh, Maeve's whole, what she thought was her own choices, um, it, it actually turns out that it was all part of his new narrative mm-hmm. and that he had it all planned out. So it's not a, it's not a game for, for, for any of the people that are, that are um, visiting, um, but it wasn't a trap either. He knew what they were doing. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yep, indeed. They knew what they're doing. They knew what they're doing. <laughs> Theory number four, Dolores is Wyatt and killed Arnold. Yep. Yeah. And yep. Yeah. Literally. She got that upload, yeah. that Wyatt na- narrative upload. Mm-hmm. What's funny is we thought that they re- replaced her in somebody's memory, like as Wyatt. Mm-hmm. She literally had Wyatt uploaded into her yep. brain. Yep. Yeah. It's, that is said, crazy. Yeah. What did it say exactly? It said Wyatt narrative, right? Wyatt narrative. Was being uploaded into uh-huh. her. Yep. <laughs> there it is. Killed one of the she literally is Wyatt. And we saw her kill Arnold. Yep. Yep. And next theory, Ford is a host. I wonder what I would find if I opened you up. Incorrect. <laughs> Incorrect, Sorry, buddy. buddy. Sorry. Sorry, buddy. Sorry, buddy. Sorry, I mean, there's always next season. Yeah? I mean, yeah, who knows? Someone might show up with that little zippy thingy, the cure-all, it just like fixes him right in the head that and he gets right back up again. That apparently works on humans it, as it well. It works on everyone. It's a magical tool from the future that just fixes from all your future. problems. <laughs> Our next theory, Westworld is not a physical place. Where are we? We don't know. We don't know, still. Don't know. Yeah. I mean, yeah, we're not 100% sure. I think it's a physical sure. location, but we're not, I, we're not sure. We're I do too, but I'm willing, I'm willing enough to leave it open because <laughs> if we'll it all, it if the what the f- moment, uh, that was believed enough, right? We're yeah, fine. that was fine, uh, that was fine. I believe, self-censored. Uh, in next season, or season three, because you know there's going to be three seasons. This oh, show yeah. is amazing. It's like, this was all a joke. Man, plug it. You're like, they no. better not. <laughs> they better not they do better that to not. us after all that, all that I, time you spent. I'm okay Come with on, it. Please, buddy. They okay. better not. That, that, that men in black marble moment was just. <laughs> yes. All right. And final theory, Maeve makes it out of Westworld. She's still there. She got so close. She got on the train. We never saw the train leave, so we don't know what would actually happen if she had stayed on the train, but she got off the train. She saw the little girl, and Mm. then she decided to stay. 
Yeah, it was pro in our mm. program, right? The storyline was written, so yeah. she... Uh, escaping was part of her storyline. Escaping line. was part of it, but not getting all the way out. Yeah. All right. What a tease. Yeah, I wonder where she's going. I wonder indeed. Uh, we have a theory from Matt something. A viewer submitted a theory and said that the hosts are repairing themselves, and that's how we got the Minotaur. Yeah. So they're just taking parts from animals and other hosts. I thought that theory was so awesome. It's a yeah. really good cool theory. If that's why there's like, like my, like I'm like a, why it's men are all weird yeah. and oh, like yeah, yeah. They have add ons everywhere yeah. on their yeah. body and stuff. Yeah. yeah. And that's we saw them messing really with cool different theory. parts and stuff. So I mean. Yep. Uh, but no pop, no proof was actually shown. So I'm not right. sure. Yeah. It's yeah. a good theory though. Like we haven't actually seen whether or not this is true. All right, let's go into nerd chills. So let's pick our nerd chills moments for this episode. Which moment really resonated with you the most? Buddy, let's start with you. Uh, so <laughs> after we get through that stupid hallway of just uh, like humping hosts, I was like, why do they have <laughs> the hosts on just having sex all night? Not that it's not a cool hallway, <laughs> but someone needs to save the power or at least come through with some yeah. WD-40 or something. This mm -hmm. is crazy. <laughs> Uh, we get through that moment, and I'm like, ugh, silly plot hole. Then this awesome, like, uh, what's her name? Armistice. Armistice, yeah. The tattoo boobs is, like, hiding by other naked hosts and just has this terrifying smile on her face and then just wreaks havoc with She's out for blood. everybody. Yeah, yeah that, that was good. That moment was awesome. Yeah, like, her just awakening and is like, yeah, the, moment. Oh. It lasted 10 minutes, just 10 minutes of gore. That, was, that whole sequence. That was a good sequence. Very yeah. good sequence. Ryan? Yeah, I love during that whole sequence. And then the fact that we go through a, another section of the underground and you see like the samurai world. Yeah, you see another Westworld logo. And yeah. you're like, what is this? And, and Where all, are we? All We're different in Samurai hosts. Westworld. SW. So sick, yeah. Samurai Westworld. <laughs> And it's then who knows how many of these worlds are there, there yeah. are out there, you know? Uh, it's it's just awesome to kind of have that the, right. the curtain pulled back and see more of of what is out there and what they've created. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that was badass. Yeah, and yeah, Felix gives her gives Maeve that paper and it says, what's it called, Park One? Park One, yeah. So out of how many? We don't know. Setting up for future seasons. All right, mine was when uh, we see that cold storage is completely empty and then it goes back to the park and then Ghost Nation starts appearing or just coming out of the woods. And yeah. I just uh -oh. started getting chills. <laughs> I started getting chills. I'm like, oh, it's about to go down. Yeah, it's yeah. about to go down. Oh my gosh. And the man in black. And the man in black just William. smiles. And that was a great part yeah, too. Yeah, that the was smile, great. The smile. Yeah, the smile. Yeah, he was like, finally. Yeah. Or <laughs> William, shall we say part. now. Yeah, yeah William. William smiles. Yeah. We call him Bill. Oh, yeah, we, we call, call him Bill when he's wearing a tux. Bill. Hey, Bill. Yep. So our question of the week comes from YouTube user Black Love, who says, what or how many timelines are we seeing in each episode, past, present, future, or alternative? We're thinking three, right? Especially towards the seen, end yeah, of the season, the you, you have Dolores stab wound, Dolores mm -hmm. not stab wound, Dolores blue dress. Yeah. So I think those are the three different. I think earlier in the season. We've seen moments that mm -hmm. are moments times, of, you know. But... I mean, it's impossible to say how many different times you jump right. to because it's all one th timeline. And I know we've said different timelines, like they're in different universes or something, but we didn't no. mean that. No, yeah. I think that we was just, a, we an objection. We just watch the show and we see different times. It's like, this happened in this time, this right. happened in this time, this yep. happened in this time. So the William stuff, yeah. and then, yeah, the man in black, um, but also Dolores figuring everything out. Yeah. So, yeah, we're going to say three. All right, let's also shout out to Toxic Tuga on YouTube, who was hoping this episode for the finale would be longer than 10 minutes. So here you go. I hope you're happy. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching the show. So let's jump into predictions, finally, for season two. We don't know when we're getting season two. It could be a while from now. Yeah. But what do you think will happen in season two? All right, hang, hang tight, guys. Think, think about this. Mm -hmm. We saw that host that Ford was creating. Yes, we don't know and who it was. And then we don't know who it was yeah. still. Mm-hmm. So what if at the end there, that was Ford's uh, host? What if that he's treating really, himself? Yeah. Ford is a host. Ford is, so Ford, <laughs> so, Ford is so a host. So actually, you're, you're right. Ford is a host, and he's still alive, and he sent his host out there to uh, share the narrative. That's my boy. That's oh my, my boy. God, that's that, so good. Yeah, as soon as, as, soon as I saw that, he and made he himself, sent himself right. out there. Why would he so want to sacrifice fine. himself? He's still in control of the whole he's thing. He's totally fine. 
fine. He's totally fine. You're right. Because why else would we see that host down there and not see it ever That's again? Genius. They made they they wanted us to see that numerous yeah. times. It was pretty obvious. Yeah. Um, I think he was creating his host, put him in a nice tux and sent him out there, mm -hmm. and and revealed the whole thing. So he's still out there. I think season yeah. two. I think Hopkins is coming back. Yeah, no, that's a really good prediction. So Ford was a host, maybe. Blew my mind, dude. Yeah, no. <laughs> Yours was way better thought out that, than mine, but really mine, good. that Ford was a host and didn't <laughs> actually die right then, was sort of kind of what I had. Okay. Or he did kill himself and then have has Bernard, he's like, hey, partner, I'm here. And Bernard's like, dude, are you a... Are you a human? And he's like, no, I'm a host, just like you, dude. Let's do this thing. <laughs> like, then they're, they're like Bonnie and Clyding it or, or <laughs> Thelma and Louising it or, you know. I got you. Another cinematic duo that's cute. Nice. Yeah. What about you? Uh, well, we saw Dolores taking out a bunch of humans at the end of that, we assume. She yep. was like wiping out the board. So, the, with the board dead, what happens now? I, I think that the hosts are going to try to escape. But I don't know. I don't know yeah. what happens. And is William's yeah. not dead, right? I mean, he, no, well, he survived he, he, he could easily get killed in the next two minutes of That's that true. sequence. Yeah, Bill, I mean, he yeah. smiles. But maybe he, he fights his way out. Yeah. Maybe he kills all, all of Ghost Nation. I don't think so. He's an old man who gets, yeah. who, who's gotten punched in the face by mm -hmm. robots. That's true. Yeah. Robot That's true. punches true. often. I feel you know? like, though, if he spent so much time in the park, mm -hmm. he should know what to do in the situation. It's like an emergency situation. I think, I think his <laughs> smile signified that he was <laughs> he totally fine. Wait. He was totally fine with him dying in that moment. He's That's like, what this I is, got. He's from like, this yeah. is, yeah. A, I this is the too. most baller ending right. that I could have gotten. Thank you. I'm Thank gonna you. die it, at it the hands sense. of Ghost Nation. Yeah. So <laughs> one thing I do want to say that doesn't have to do with predictions or whatever. Yeah. There's bells on the gravestones. There are. And they used to do this thing. Have you ever heard of Dead Ringer? Mm mm. Mm -hmm. So dead ringer is a term that you you'd say like oh you're a dead oh, ringer for yeah, someone yeah, else yeah, right, you, sure. yeah. Mm -hmm. so you'd bury somebody but before modern medicine you wouldn't know if they were actually dead so sometimes people would like wake up from like poisoning or like a coma or whatever mm -hmm. buried right. in a coffin so you would tie a bell to their finger oh, wow. and hang it over their their wow. marker and they would be ringing the bell so you'd hear a grave bell and go dig up a not dead person wow that's, and that's why all of those yeah i had no clue thank you for teaching me that that's but great. also awesome. dead that cool. ringers yeah yeah I mean, yeah so are they just going to duplicate all those board members and just make them into hosts? I think and it's our... Just, it's so could? I think that whole thing was another loop. Like, mm -hmm. I think the board has been cleared out before by Ford on mm -hmm. accident. This has happened again, yeah. On accident. Yeah. He's dealt with them numerous times. Because that, wasn't, that ending was a loop. We talked about that. But yeah. that ending was a loop of what Dolores already did. She killed a ton of people yep. mm -hmm. and then ended up killing one of her creators. Yep. So Ford's still alive. Ford's yeah. still alive. I think yeah. so. I really Bring like that back. theory. I yeah, really I so. like that. That's rad. Good oh. job, dude. All right, guys. So Westworld is over, and we need to fill the void that it left with a new show. So what show do you want to nerd out with us over? Please let us know in the comments below or on Twitter at the hashtag GSNerdingOut. We are moving over permanently to GameSpot Universe on YouTube as of January 3rd. So if you're watching on GameSpot right now, please go over there and subscribe. If you're on GameSpot Universe, great job. Guys, what can they see on GameSpot Universe? So... We do features all the time on like, we just did a bunch of Star Wars theory stuff. You should go check that out. Uh, character breakdowns, yeah. backstory stuff. Who the heck is? A lot of who the heck is. If you want to know who the heck is somebody, we probably... We have it. Or if not, tell Let us, us to do it. Yeah, yeah. Us yeah. tell us to do it. Um, oh, and also we're nerding out on two other shows right now. We've, we've got Walking Dead. Um, and we have uh, Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D., which I'm pretty nerdy about, but uh, we have Tony G., who's uh, a comic genius, um, and I don't mean that in the funny way. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you. All right, well, thank you guys for joining us, and for all things nerding out, stick with GameSpot Universe.